Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this video I want to show you how to add a reading progress bar like this up here at the top, just here, to your Elementor website. To do that, let's dive straight in. First things first, you have to be logged into your WordPress website. Now we are going to come right down here to plugins and then we say add new plugin. And right here we'll search for a plugin called Essential Add-ons. When it shows up right here, at the moment it has over 300,000 active installations. Install and activate. So I have it already activated. And once it's activated, it will show up right here, here in the left hand side bar of your WordPress dashboard. Simply click on it. Come here to extensions. Make sure that the reading progress bar is enabled. Enabled, I mean it should be in green. Simply save the changes. Once it's saved, now you are going to open up any of your pages or blog posts that you want to add a progress bar on. Now in this case I want to add to a blog post. This is the blog post where I want to add a reading progress bar. It will show up right up here. This is a very very long blog post I wrote about how to make your WordPress website using Elementor and it's over 5000 words. So what I'm going to do now, I have to simply open up my blog post with Elementor. So it's already opened up right here. Now. Once you are in here in your Elementor editor, you are going to come right down here to the settings option, just down here and then scroll a bit down and you'll see an option that is EA reading progress bar. Simply click on it and right here activate and boom, you'll see right here at the top a reading progress bar showing an indication. Now we are going to save first and then we'll see a preview. So once it's fully loaded, you'll see that when I scroll down, your reading progress bar now shows up right there at the top. This is the one here in green. So you see, as I continue scrolling down, it shows how far you are with that single page or that single page of blog post on that specific website. Now, the beauty is that we can also style up this reading progress bar. We can change the fill color. I have to change this to something like this and we can even adjust the height we can also choose to position it at the bottom of our page but that won't make any sense at the moment and then we can even increase or decrease the animation speed right up here and it's up to you to decide how you want to style it the other amazing thing is that you can also enable this reading progress bar to appear globally on your elementor or wordpress website by simply turning on this knob here now, when you look here on our WordPress website, you realize that when I go to the other pages, go to the home page, here there is no reading progress bar. Okay, now when I come over here to our editor and then we enable the reading progress bar to appear entirely on the whole website, we have the options to choose on either all blog posts or on all blog posts and pages. Now I will say all blog posts and pages. And I simply hit update. Once it's updated, I'm going to come back to my home page. I will reload this. Once I reload it, you'll realize that now I have my reading progress bar show up right here at the top of my home page. Now I'll also try to check out on one of my other blog posts. And once that blog post is fully loaded, you realize that I also have my reading progress bar show up at the top of that specific blog post. So anyway, that was a quick tutorial on how you can add a reading progress bar to your Elementor or WordPress website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial brought you value and that now you are able to add a reading progress bar to your Elementor or WordPress website. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.